Hey guys, it's been a while since I posted on this game, but fortunately we might be finally turning the corner for content updates. As many of you know, this game really hasn't received a major update since last year, so the question is, what really happened, and when will we be getting new content? Stick around for the video, because I'll be taking a brief dive into the controversy and what we can expect for the future. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, we are closely approaching 1000 subscribers and I can't wait to achieve it, and maybe we'll release a little bit of a special as well? As many may not know, a lot of controversy went around about a year ago surrounding the improper treatment of some if not all of the development team working on Frontlines. Since this drama stirred up so much hate towards Maximilian, the head of the development team, he took action to have a lot of the evidence deleted and taken down from Twitter. Unfortunately because of this, I couldn't gain access to all the original tweets, but if you are interested in learning more, go check out Cranestar's video after. He outlines the drama pretty well. With all that said, the main reason that Frontlines hasn't received any updates for so long is because of this entire situation, which was also blown out of proportion by many larger YouTubers in the scene who use speculation rather than concrete information. Most of their videos have since been taken down, but does that mean we won't receive any new updates in the future? It's important to consider a few factors within this entire situation that could hint at some possible updates coming in the near future. For starters, I've been closely monitoring the game's status page on Rallymons for the past month, and it seems like the game is being actively worked on. This can hint at a major content update on the horizon, with new guns and new features to come. A second thing to look at is their Trello page that they have linked on the Maximilian Discord. Many of the promised guns seem to be at least scheduled, and it's possible that they're being worked on without the community's knowledge. The final point I can make is that even despite all of this, Frontline seems to be holding a steady player count on Roblox, floating just around 1.5k consistently. This would indicate that players aren't quite done with the current content, although as an avid player myself, Running around the incredibly small maps and racking up a large kill streak gets boring after about 30 minutes. But because of this player count, the dev team would see that the game still has interest, being that it's been able to hold a player base for this long. Leave a comment about your thoughts related to content updates and possible future speculations down below. For the entire video, we've looked into what the possible future plans are and why the game hasn't received any updates in over a year now. But with all that said, what is there to expect for the future of the game? Fortunately, I think we can expect a content update to come hopefully by the end of this year. This game has tons of potential to rise back onto the podium of one of the best FPS games on Roblox and with some new guns as shown in the Discord, new features, and possibly even a new map again, I think this is 100% achievable. What do you think we might see in the future? Thank you all for making it this far into the video. Make sure to drop a like and a sub if you enjoyed it. I know I've been busy for the past few months and I haven't really found the time or the motivation to make videos, but hopefully if this game finally receives some new content, I'll be back to pumping out weekly videos. Until then, night signing off.